morning, Mount Olive. Hope you're having a wonderful morning. Uh, a good Wednesday after Christmas holiday. Uh, before we go into our devotion today, let's go before the Lord in prayer. Let's remember our mission team uh, that uh, they continue uh, in their walk with what the Lord would have them to do in Nicaragua, that would give them strength and peace during this time. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Lord, thank you for all you do for us, Father. Lord, thank you for your many blessings. Lord, there are so numerous, Father, we can't count them. Lord, we ask, Lord, that you'll please be with our mission team today. Lord, that you would please uh, keep your hand of protection over them. That you will watch over them, Father. Lord, give them the work you have them to do. But most importantly, Father, that they plant the seeds, Father, of conviction, the seeds of grace. And Lord, no matter who waters, and who harvests, well, Father, there will be souls for you. Lord, please be with all those that are sick. Lord, all those during this Christmas holiday that have fallen ill, have lost loved ones. Father, we ask, Lord, that you'll please be in each and every situation. That you'll meet each and every need. Give them peace and comfort during this difficult time. Father, we want to thank you for all you do for us, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Uh, following up in our devotion today uh, with Christmas grace and um, really kind of expanding on what Brother TJ brought out on Sunday, a wonderful message and just a very brief uh, couple of thoughts that we have on the Christmas holiday and, and going back with what Brother TJ had brought out there on Christmas Sunday. And of course, that being Christmas, uh, Brother TJ brought out uh, a basically what had happened on Christmas Day. And he brought us to Luke 2. And you know, on, if everyone knows, Luke 2 is the Christmas story in the Bible. Uh, and this is a proclamation from the angels to the shepherds in verse 11. And it says, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. This announcement was given to the lowliest, category of citizens of, of Bethlehem of, to the shepherds. And this announcement was made not that uh, a baby was born, but not only um, another child to another family, but this was a special birth. This was a special birth for one particular reason, and it was for a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. This is one that was foretold, the one that we know was um, set aside as God's only son to come down and fulfill uh, the only way that me and you can reach heaven. In 1 Corinthians, Paul says it this way, he says, for as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive, that every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits, afterward they that are Christ's at his coming. And Paul basically is saying one, one thing here. He's saying, uh, by Adam, we have all inherited sin. We've all become sinful because Adam was of the very first original sin. But even though Adam is the reason why we are all sinful, Christ, that is, came down on this day as part of Christmas. Christ is brought as a Savior our way to get to salvation. Even though there are two different tracks, Christ is brought into this world on Christmas Day, not to only be a baby in Mary and Joseph's family, not only to grow up in the land of Israel as a carpenter's son, not only as a wise teacher and rabbi, but to come as a sacrifice for mining your sin, to be a savior, for all. Paul says he is the first fruits. This baby was born to die. He was going to be raised. He was going to be crucified an old, on an old rugged cross for our sin. And then he is going to arise on the third day. And as a part of that arisen Savior, he's also given us a promise that we can take part in that same resurrection. Hope you find something uh, good in this uh, today. Hopefully you can uh, meet us in church tonight, uh, Wednesday night. I uh, hope you have a wonderful day.